Hey everyone, so today I thought I would do kind of a different video, um, just kind of like a chatting with you video about something that has kind of made a, I guess a big change in my life, <laughs> to put it dramatically. Now if I'm talking a little bit quietly, it's because my husband is in bed already, it's fairly late here. Um, I just felt like uh, doing this video because it's something that I've actually wanted to talk about. Yeah, bras. <laughs> Let's talk about much we hate bras. I think it was like about half a year ago or something. Yeah, about half, maybe like a third of a year ago. It was just before the summer. I've kind of like stopped wearing bras. I don't know, it seems like, I don't know, maybe it's like a trend or I think it's just a lot of women nowadays are, are more vocal about these issues that are kind of considered very like personal, private, like don't talk about it. You know, don't talk about your period. Don't talk about anything to do with women's sexuality. Don't talk about any of these issues that directly affect women um, because it's kind of like a taboo subject for a lot of people and I guess the reason I'm making that video is to lift the taboo and to talk about boobs and bras and all that stuff I basically decided that I just do not want to wear a bra anymore and the reason is mainly because they're just so uncomfortable you know I have pretty much gone through my whole life after puberty um, wearing a bra and like whenever I would go out in public um, regardless if I'm just going grocery shopping or if I'm you know doing anything that's sort of just normal day-to-day -day activities um, I couldn't leave the house without wearing a bra I have never really enjoyed wearing them um, you know I've, I think over the years I've found bras that kind of are a bit more comfortable I definitely stopped wearing these heavily padded like Victoria's Secret push-up bras I mean Victoria's Secret makes a whole range of bras but I definitely stopped wearing these like super push-up bras then I stopped wearing the underwire bras completely and I just went for like soft cup bras and then I was wearing the bralettes for a while and then I was realizing like I was wearing less and less and less bra and I was like why am I even still wearing these things there's always that relief you know when you get home like one of the first things you do is like take off your clothes from the day and like take off your bra and like get into comfy clothes and you know that feeling when you like take off your bra you're just like oh you feel relief while you're wearing the bra you don't even really realize it but there's a lot of tension like around your chest area just from the straps and it's like this contraption that's kind of restricting your movement obviously because it's it's restricting the movement of your breasts and it's shaping your breasts to be a different shape than they would be normally right and so then i was kind of thinking about like why am i even wearing this thing now i was not um blessed or cursed what depends what you how you look at it i i don't have a very big um chest i'm sometimes a b or sometimes a c depending on the bra like sometimes it's a b cup sometimes it's a c cup you know i i realize like i don't even really need to wear one from the sort of weight aspect i know women with really big chests like they kind of feel they need the support that they get back ache if they don't wear a bra because it's like the heaviness of their chest you know from that aspect i can i guess understand why women who have these bigger boobs kind of would want to wear something supportive but you know i didn't really have that issue I'm a fairly tall woman so on me my breasts like my breasts could be like much bigger for my frame you know I've never really felt um, like sad about it I've, I've never been a person who's wanted bigger boobs so for me it's never been an issue of like oh I want bigger boobs therefore I need like a push-up bra and like all this stuff and another reason that actually came up sort of recently is in the last year I've developed something called pressure urticaria now to those of you who have pressure urticaria know how awful it is but basically anywhere where there's pressure applied to my skin or my body for a long period of time it could be something as an simple as an elastic or like if you wear an elastic band here around your wrist you know for your hair or it could be a bra strap it could be you know the band around your bra that would cause me to break out in hives and would cause a swelling of that entire region and for like itchy hives to appear there um, you know it's something that I've kind of been struggling with for about the ha past half year I've been getting a lot of hive breakouts again and some of it was caused by pressure or I went shopping or something and then I had a bag I was just like holding a bag here on my arm like this you know kind of holding it there and when I woke up this morning or like the next morning after I had like red itchy welts exactly where that bag had been now how that related to the bra was because you know the bra strap would sometimes cause me 
to get these reactions called pressure urticaria. So I was getting it here and I was also getting it sometimes here from the bra strap. That for me was like the last straw. That's kind of the straw that broke the camel's back. And I was like, I was actually getting hives from my bra. You know, the first time that I went out without one, like I think I just went grocery shopping and I didn't have a bra on it. I felt so uncomfortable. Like the first time I went out just without a bra on the street, I was like, oh my God, everybody's looking at my boobs. And like, you know, it's just because it had been so ingrained in my mind that women's breasts are not allowed to move. Women's breasts have to have a certain very like rounded shape. Um, you know, the aesthetic shape of a, a breast should be like super round and perfect, smooth, how it is when you wear a bra. And, you know, they can't bounce around. They have to just sit <laughs> kind of still on your chest. And I think then the first time I went out without one, I just felt so awkward, even though I think it was just honestly in my mind, because honestly, I don't really think people were staring at my boobs. I think it was just, I felt so uncomfortable because I have been taught to feel uncomfortable about that. We see these images of like, oh, bouncing boobs. And like, oh, this is kind of like a, it's a very sexualized image. And I feel like the whole, sexualization of women's breasts has caused us to feel really uncomfortable about them. Breasts are not only a sexual thing and in most like the reason we were born with breasts is to feed our children and we see this in any any primate any mammal you know like apes great apes and you know the if you look at a gorilla like a female gorilla when she has a baby and she's nursing nursing her baby if you ever seen pictures of that it looks like she has like a human boob you know so there's really nothing sexual about the breast in that aspect and i feel like women's bodies like especially their breasts have been like over sexualized and that's why a lot of women nowadays feel very uncomfortable breastfeeding in public and that's like that's what our breasts were actually designed to do is like to give milk that is the number one purpose of breasts so yeah i feel like this kind of over sexualization of the woman's body in general especially in a public space has caused us as women to feel very uncomfortable about our bodies and how our bodies look and move in a natural state and if you look back at the history of women's clothing. Before bras came along, women wore these extremely tight corsets that created a very unnatural hourglass figure. And so the woman's body has always been subjected to this sexualization in a public sphere. I think that's where the discomfort comes from is that, you know, even though nobody told me you have to wear a bra, it's kind of always been ingrained in my mind that there, that's, there's not an option to go out Side without a bra. The first few times I felt really uncomfortable, but then the more I did it, the like the less I started to care. And the more I realized that people actually weren't just looking at my boobs all the time. <laughs> yeah, like breasts move around, but that's, you know, you see sometimes men like overweight or obese men and they have like breasts too, you know, because mainly breasts are just fatty tissue. So sometimes, you know, you see men with t-shirts and it looks like their boobs are kind of jiggling around as well. It's not like there's men's bras or something like that, or maybe there are, I don't know, but I'm assuming not. I just had to realize that actually, like, I don't really care, you know, I just want to be comfortable. Like, why should I feel uncomfortable all day? Why do I, why do I as a woman um, have to go my whole life wearing this freaking contraption on my chest that is so actually unnatural. It's people that invented these things. It's not like, you know, if women's boobs were meant to be held up their entire lives, then we would are like, we would have had some kind of muscle or something that would hold it up. And um, there is actually evidence that supports the fact that wearing a bra can make your boobs over time less uh, perk and they can actually make your boobs sag more because you're not using the muscle to hold them up, right? So, and I think also the other thing that um, really annoyed me is that I hated bra shopping. I've never enjoyed it. Personally, I feel it's just a huge waste of money. Every time I would buy a bra, I'm just like, how expensive are these things that I don't even enjoy wearing? You know, bras, like good quality bras can cost a good amount of money. I don't buy like the cheap bras from H&M or something because I don't find them like at all comfortable. So I would I would spend more money on bras and they were just getting more and more expensive. And I was like, why am I spending so much money on something I hate wearing? There are maybe a couple instances where I still do wear bras. Um, the main one being exercising. So if I'm going to the gym, running, something like that, um, I do wear a sports bra just because I want my, bra my boobs to be like, smash down on my chest. And the only other time I think I've like really worn bras is when I've had 
um, like a business presentation or something like that where I'm standing in front of a crowd and I'm wearing like a white blouse <laughs> and then I would just wear like a nude bra under that but that is pretty much the only time like in my day-to-day -day life I don't really wear them anymore um, I don't wear them like going out at, anymore you know like if I go out with friends and stuff like I don't care you know this is this is the way that my body looks and this is the way that women's bodies look and we shouldn't we shouldn't have to feel ashamed of that. Now, if you are a larger chested woman and you know you need the support and you get back ache, by all means wear a bra if that's what makes you happy. But I just want those women who maybe don't enjoy wearing a bra and like who just have thought about it to maybe just try it out because honestly, we shouldn't feel that we have to restrict ourselves in that way. Why do we have to wear these fucking things? Like I don't wanna wear it, so I'm not gonna wear it. Um, and I know that seems like so simple to some people, but I think it's just because we've been kind of so ingrained, it's, it's just been ingrained in our mind that like our bodies are always sexual and like, you know, we have to look a certain way and like, you know, it's just, we have to take that away from the public sphere. And that's why I think also like the free the nipple campaign is it kind of ties in with that. It's like, what is really different between a man's breast and a woman's breast, except for the shape, like a woman can't show her nipple, but a man can like, you know, if women want to do that, they should be allowed. And I totally encourage you guys to maybe try it. And it, you might feel awkward at first, like the first few times you go out, but then the more you do it, like it just feels so much better. And I never have to, oh my God, you know what was always the worst thing when like the bra strap keeps falling down? Fucking hell. And you're wearing like a long top, like you're wearing a long sleeve top and then your bra strap falls down. You have to like go and dig it in to like pull it up. So I started wearing like the racer back bras all the time, but then sometimes you would like see the strap and then it was like, oh, you can't see the bra strap. Like that looks trashy. Oh my God, like really, seriously? So yeah, if you guys wanna see any more videos like this, um, I'm, you know, I'm someone who's actually very interested in women's issues like that. But if there's something else that you would wanna see me talk about that's kind of like controversial or whatever, um, please let me know. Free the boobies, try it out. <laughs> You will not regret it. Let me know your thoughts if you've ever thought about it. Do you have any kind of like concerns or do you have a totally different take on it? I would love to know. Put that in the comments and um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.